Hey everybody, it's Paul with Reporting Live from my sofa. How are you doing today? I hope everybody out there is doing well. I'm doing pretty good. We are still in a major, major, major heat wave. It is insane. So I hope wherever you're at, you're staying cool. You got some AC going. Uh, we're going to be doing just another little update about Brent Christensen and mostly the Brent Christensen trial, but mostly about Ying Ying's parents, her father, what he had to say, uh, because there was some follow-up stuff that I didn't put in the last video. And I just wanted to kind of do that out, put that out there. So without further ado, let's review. Now, as we know, he was found guilty originally, and then the penalty phase, they did not sentence him to death. He got life without parole. So there's that. Now, this. Now we also know he has not disclosed the body uh, or her remains, like where she is, and this has completely destroyed her family in addition to what he's already done, obviously. So this is a major thing. I mean, they, they have a plane ticket to go home, and apparently they made it for a little bit farther out. And we'll get into that little details about that a little bit more. But they are basically begging. You know, we need to know. I mean, this is a major thing for her family to be able to bring her home and rest. They will be unrest at unrest to begin with. But this is like the salt in the wound. So I want to read a couple of little things here just to go over what her father's saying. Uh, now, this is done through a translator. And I'm just going to read this, you know, quota. Uh, now that the trial is over and the jury has made its decision, we ask the defendant to unconditionally tell us what he knows about Ying Ying's location, Mr. Zhang said in Chinese, according to a translator. If you have any humanity left in your soul, please help end our torment. Please let us bring Ying Ying home. That is what they've been saying. They've been pleading with him. And this is just one of these. With this case, I'm just like, this is one of these things where with Brent, I'm just like, I mean, it doesn't end. And again, I personally think he did something with her body that it is not recoverable. And I also think that he just, you know, he's a sick individual that is enjoying victimizing even her family. Now, also, so, you know, when they opposed the death sentence, or I'm sorry, when they did not impose the death sentence, this has been very controversial over in Zong's native China. Uh, and social medias uh, argued that ending the killer's life was the best and only justice in this case. Now, one thing that's interesting is there's been coverage here in the States, but I mean, this is major news over there. I mean, over here in the States, it's not, I mean, it's it's hit the news, obviously, it's a tragedy, but it's not like a Chris Watts or, you know what I mean? It's not like that. And this sounds like it's that level over there, obviously. This is her home country. Over here, we're not, a lot of people aren't aware of it because it's a federal case, so there's a lot of stuff that's just not out there with it. Now, this case has been like the top trending topics on popular Chinese social media site Weibo, I believe it is. Uh, and, and like, I'm going to read a couple of things here that people have said. This shows us how the injustice in the American legal system. We should condemn them, social media user so-and-so said on his account. This is kind of the thing. I mean, they're looking at us like, oh my God, I can't believe you did not sentence him to death. I think obviously the parents wanted that, but I think there was some holding out with them and the way of we want our daughter back more. But now that they don't have that, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't, what do you do? You know I mean? Because again, obviously we can't just go to the parents and say, what do you want? The jury came back with that. And the jury was the one that they couldn't agree on it. So... Uh, let me go to another article for you. So this next article essentially just goes into more in depth about the fact that the jurors chose life in prison instead of the death penalty. And his her parents, uh, Ying Ying Zhang's parents, are having to face the prospect of going back home to China uh, a second time without her remains. Now their plane tickets were booked for later because they were expecting this two-part trial for Brent to take a lot longer than it did. So they're waiting to fly back to their home country and they are going to meet with like federal prosecutors and investigators as well as campaign county crime stopper officials and just see what all you know they have there. Uh, the meeting with the prosecutors would involve if there's any other information that we don't know about and just answering questions that the family may have. Uh, this is from one of the lawyer's attorneys here, the family attorney. Uh, the main focus is, in any way possible, to find Ying Ying's remains. So they're just going to look for any possible things. You know, there's probably information about this that they're not letting the public know that might be really disturbing or that's just, you know, we don't need to know it, you know. Uh, because it, if he's done something completely heinous with these remains, I mean... 
you know, let's, we don't need to put that out there for the family. Now, also the U.S. Attorney General, the, I'm sorry, also the U.S. Attorney John Milesler, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, uh, he vowed that the efforts to locate Ying Ying have not stopped. They started two years ago, and they, they will continue. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, he said the family's focus, or I'm sorry, her family's attorney said, the family's focus is on how we can make this travesty meaningful in a long-term way so that Ying Ying is not forgotten. Now, all also, so in pretrial documents, and I talked about this in another video, Brent's lawyer stated that finding her remains was something over which we had no control. He could not guarantee the victim's remains would be found. So that's where I'm like, I think he did something pretty sinister with them. And, you know, they're just not there anymore. So that's pretty much all the updates for that that I have right now. So as obviously, especially if they ever come across remains or anything like that, I'll keep y'all updated. Uh, so that's it. I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you soon. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell if you want to know when I'm coming here to hang out. There's lots of links down in there if you want to catch me or my new podcast. And I will see you later, alligator. Bye.